Welcome to another Dragonlance Saga Readings episode. My name is Adam, and today I'm reading the DC comic Dragonlance number four, My Honor is My Life. I'd like to take a moment and thank the members of this channel and invite you to consider becoming a member by visiting the links in the description below. Honor or Life? Welcome the dawn, on the day the dragons came. And if you looked upon their evil faces, listened to their songs of war, and took the dawn for twilight, and were afraid, you are not alone. In men alone, they outnumber us slightly, I'd say. And we have nothing like the red and blue dragons that lead them. No, no indeed. Of course, the High Lords favor reds and blues for a direct assault. Is that so? You seem to know an awful lot about dragons and dragon men and High Lords and such for a half-baked old wizard. Especially an old wizard who's supposed to be dead. I want to know once and for all, who are you? Me? Why, I'm... Er... Uh, Fizban. That's it! Fizban! God spare me! This fool can't remember his own name, and yet he claims to be the one the Queen of Darkness fears. Did I say that? Ooh, enough! I've wasted... All the time, I'm about to try to figure you out, old man. Or you, Vandar Brightblade. I won't sit playing idle word games while my father's castle burns. Eh, uh, better not forget this, then. The Dragonlance. Don't think I'm going to humor you by asking how you knew that it was hidden here, old man. I won't give you the satisfaction. Riva, I... Farewell. Courage, good knights, and honor above all else. Now comes the final battle to be joined, that we may die as we have lived by the ancient code and the measure of our order. No, father! I'll gladly face a thousand deaths at your side, if die we must. But I have every faith that we shall win our cause, and so must all of you, lest faithlessness defeat us where our enemies steel could not. Bah! And who are you, girl, to speak to knights this way? There's wisdom in those words, Vitas, no matter who the speaker. Henriva's deeds, I think, have shown us all that she deserves to be listened to. I'll listen then, but I won't have a woman commanding. Look, the enemy's at hand! The dragons are upon us! Scrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Never mind all that. But I jumped to save Rivas without a thought. She meant means. Too much to me to let any harm come to her. Do the gods expect me to deny those feelings? Deny my heart for the sake of rules that only lead men to a web of contradictions? The gods? <laughs> what conceit! The rules of knighthood weren't handed down by the gods, Vandar Brightblade. It was men who made them up. Men, well-meaning men, who sought to walk a godly path as they interpreted it. No god ever asked a monk to stand aside and watch a loved one die, I can tell you that. People make rules, and rules made by people don't always work. When that happens, the machine we call civilization starts breaking down. But a man with justice and love in his heart can find his own rules there. Rules that ring with the unwritten and unspoken mysteries of the true gods of good. And he will make the world more godly in the process. Um, I'm sorry, Fizban. Of course you're right. Don't start apologizing. You would have seen it in your own already as Reva has, but you hadn't been so busy blaming yourself for your brother's death. Which reminds me, are you certain? Fizban! Pip, my boy! Oh, Fizban, you were dead, and now you're alive! Incredible, no? And it's not even my best trick. Thank you, Fizban. You've given me much to ponder, and I've much to decide. But let me finish what I was saying. Are you really quite sure you saw your brother die? Ah! Juros! Stinking spawn of the abyss! You'll murder no more knights! Come, you men! Have at them! Follow! Paladine, preserve us! Up! Off your knees! It's the dragon fear upon you! Fight it off before we... Oh, No! Come back! Stand your ground! We can defeat our foes, be they men or dragons. Look evil in the eye and... Riva! What? She's fleeing! Do you see now? The girl's a coward after all! A girl. A weak and cowardly girl. Is that what they think? It doesn't matter. I know who I am. A knight. Scry! Knight of the Dragonlance! about to Crah! How sad then, girl, that you will lose, huh? I am your death.
Your words don't frighten me, nor your dragon. I have the Dragonlance now. Or did Lord Soth neglect to tell you how I slew him with it in a nightmare meant to break me? Soth has many schemes, plays many games, and does not always ask for my approval. But on the whole, he serves me well. And so you hide behind him? As you hide behind your dragon? Soaring untouched over the battle? What kind of man are you? <laughs> My dear Silver Crown. I am no man at all. Yes. Clang! You're a brave one, girl, I'll grant you, and not half bad with a blade. Brave enough to slay a dragon, as I would slay you, Dragon Lord, with the Holy Lance. But for the honor that demands, we fight on equal footing, sword against sword. You will never be my equal, not even with the Dragon Lance in hand. And if you truly think that you can stand against the full tide of darkness that we bring, then you will pay for that delusion with your life! Spang! Our forces are united in loyalty to the Dark Queen, while those who might oppose us cannot even agree to believe in the gods of good. The battle below says otherwise. Your dragon army's confidence was shattered, along with the dragon's bones. All they believe in was that they had picked the winning side, and now that they've begun to doubt it, the secret's out. Their skins are the only thing they're loyal to. And so you may win a skirmish or two, but some simple-minded knights will always stand to fight for hopeless causes. But the end, I assure you, will be the same. Take your glory and your honor to your graves. The followers of darkness know where true power lies. Oh! I won't... Yes, little knight, do raise your sword. How cloyingly predictable. They are never more valiant. Clang! Then when the cause is lost! No! Have a care, monk. That's a weapon, not a butter knife, and not to be played with by the likes of you. I am both knight and monk. I know the blade the one must wield, and the power that preserves the other. The Medallion of Majir! Yes, Majir, who gives even the lowly insects of the Earth armor. Zivas Su Salar. And grants the same to one who serves him in the fullness of the godly light of good. Your eyes deceive you, monk. The light has faded. And darkness reigns. Kang! Not yet, though you may wish it so. No path has ever been more clear to me than the one that I've now chosen. With my God-given free will. Crack! I will be monk and knight united. Uh. Uh. Clang! To stand against the greatest evils. Splang! Uh. Monk, you've not begun to see what evil will dare. Now drop your sword or the boy dies! Huh? Tip! But I... 
No! No, I won't! What? Do you think I'm joking? Let down your sword now, or his blood is on your hands! You would slay him in either case. You cannot make me take responsibility for your act of murder. And the sword I've raised in the name of my gods will not fall while there's strength in me to serve their cause. But mark me, if you kill the boy, then you will surely die by my hand. Crack-a-doo! But not every weapon is handheld, eh, my faithful one? Thandor! She killed him! She... Ugh! My wound! Huh? The Dragonlance! And now, to add the medallion to this prize! No! Stop her! Roar! Come no closer! It... it talks! Curse the wretched thing! It's embedded in his chest, like a part of his flesh! Very well, you may bury it with him. And then, who will believe that you once possessed the sign of the true gods? The battle is over for now, but when we return in force, you'll no longer have the aid of the good god's power. Not the medallion, and not the dragon lance! By the gods, no! We can't let her get away with the lands. Mm. Well, as to that, uh, she didn't. What? But how? Who? You. It was y you. Vandar! You're the one who left the Dragonlance at the monastery so that I could find it and fight and fight the evil ones. And well, did you meet your task, good monk? Good night. Now, I must take it away again. I understand. But Vandar, who is he? He is the light that came down from the sky. Pursuing the Queen of Darkness to Kryn. Uh, he is the great god of good. Uh, th asks only that his followers choose the path of goodness and light freely. Paladine? Huh? Where? Weaver, listen. The world is growing dark. A shadow covers Kryn. But all is not yet lost. Make them see there is a light that's growing brighter, ever brighter. Do not weep, Riva. The light still burns. You two have made it so. And as long as his memory lives, there will always be a light the end to the lands of the east controlled by the dragon armies Andor home of Tip to the southwest Sturm and Riva meet to Solace south across the New Sea thank you all for tuning in to this Dragonlance saga reading what did you think of the comic have you ever read Dragonlance comics before feel free to email me at info at dlsaga.com or leave a comment below. This channel is all about celebrating the wonderful world of the Dragonlance Saga, and I thank you for joining me in this celebration. 
Thank you for watching. This has been Adam with Dragonlance Saga, and until next time, Slanjavara.